Hi guys, I think I am recording. Um, we are going to do an impossible whopper review. So Jonathan just came back from Burger King and we're going to see how the impossible whopper test. <laughs> he was against it. Let's let's say that. I'm still against it. He's back. Plant meat burger. Hey, you don't even know how I want to own me burger. You didn't get any ketchup. Oh. So what we did was we still got this is it. We still got some um whoppers. <laughs> right? They stop looking like that. You look like you've been eating onion rings. How do they flame grill on some plants? Huh? How do they flame grill on some plants? I think it's plant based. I don't know if it's just. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't think it's just plants based. Now, so. I want to say, I know uh, Burger King has fell off. But, you know, they tried to come with something new. This is how it looks. Impossible Whopper. <laughs> it looks like a. Well. That meat don't look real. <laughs> I'm going to say off the bat, that is the fakest patty I have seen. We are reviewing. Make sure it's even. It don't have to be. You want the tomato on it? Put the tomato on it. Bay. You have to not, don't think about it. Put the tomato on it so it can taste like the burger you like. I don't think that's good. <laughs> okay. It looks like a waffle. Let's bite it. Ready? You ready? We're gonna go on the counter. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go on the counter three. Huh? Okay. Hey, let me turn it like like you got yours. We're going on the counter three. You ready? One, two, and three. <laughs> it's good. It tastes some kind of like me. It's good. Hey, I'm tell y'all. Don't listen to Jonathan. It's impossible. Why? It's good. It's okay. You can't tell that it's impossible. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. My voice is still a little off. From Thanksgiving. It's good. You got to take two bites to know if you like it or not. You have to. You have to take two bites. I like it. It's good. Don't lie. Be honest. Give an honest review. If someone, no, if someone blindfolded you and said, or somebody cut your piece of waffle and said, here, have half my waffle, would you know that that's not a real waffle? It do taste a little like meat. It do taste like meat. It does. You wouldn't know. If I didn't tell you, you wouldn't know that that was a, wasn't a real waffle. No, you really wouldn't. See? It, it tastes like a real waffle. It's good. And that's some bug. I'm wow. just say they ain't been feeding us impossible waffles all this time, <laughs> and we ain't know it. That's good. And I have a regular waffle. So when I get through, or should I bite my regular waffle now? Should I eat this first? It's up to you. I think I'm gonna eat this first. 
Then I'm going to buy my WAPA. I don't know. Let's see. But you cannot tell the difference. You don't know that this is not a real WAPA. I just had one question. What? They say it's plant based, right? That doesn't mean it's just plants. No, I just want to know what kind of plants they use. Do they have a meat plant? Really? I'm just wondering. Okay, it tastes different than I thought it was going to taste. It's good. It can pass for a whopper. It can. And that's some bug. Why? You want it to taste like a whopper, right? That's what quit. That's what brings the question. Have we been already eating Impossible Whopper? Do y'all know? I don't know. I don't know, but that Impossible Whopper got some good flavor. Hmm. You know, I think somebody's suing Burger King over this Impossible Whopper. Because they're saying that they're cooking it on the same grill as the regular Whopper, so he's still getting like the meat byproducts on his Impossible Whopper. I could not thought of that one. <laughs> I've been a couple of dollars. Really? But I don't know if he's going to win or not. He's going to get something. That means every that means every vegan can sue. So I don't know. A vegetarian. So I don't know if he's going to win. It is not. Might have a lawsuit. <laughs> this impossible whopper is good. I don't care what Jonathan says. You cannot lie. I'm going to say that's not a good burger. It's good. I want to talk to the chef. Because Why? how y'all make veggies taste like me. That's good. What if they made impossible bacon? <laughs> Would you then become a vegetarian or a vegan? Nope. I really? start slaughtering my own pigs. <laughs> Bang. I'm going to go to my Whopper because I'm almost done. This was just that good. God, God, yeah. I know. You went to town. Yeah. I did go to town because it was good. Now, that was really good. It's like a barbecue flavor. Something. What did I say? Chomp, chomp, chomp. What did you thought it said? I'm trying to figure out what the hell is MP they wrote on that. Okay, the Impossible Whopper is good. It tastes like a regular. It's somebody will fool the mess out you. They'll put this in one of them regular wrappers and give it to you. Thank you, eating a real Whopper. Really and you eat the plant burger. You want to know what I've seen? When you look at the patty, it doesn't look like a regular hamburger patty. Sure so don't. I guess they can't really fool you because it doesn't look like a regular patty. Go by people that don't look, they just bite first. I don't know. But they I don't think that Whataburger I mean I don't think Burger King would do it because they'll be losing money. Cause that was more than a regular whopper. Just so you know, the impossible whopper. With an impossible price. Was like five dollars and some change. When right now you can get two whoppers for six dollars. Mm -hmm. So the price of one impossible whopper right now 
you can get two regular Whoppers. And I said, you know, make some good burgers. Who? Mm. Texas Roadhouse. Why are we talking about Texas Roadhouse? And they didn't put any onions on my burger. Okay. I'm they didn't saying. put pickles. You didn't get pickles on my burger. I told him, man, I'm just as bad as what you got. See, you got a pickle hanging out the No, that's, oh, that's, that's an impossible pickle. Things that make you say, hmm. It's not an impossible pickle. And you cannot talk about Texas Roadhouse and we're reviewing Burger King. Oh, I'm sorry. Now, you just ate your impossible. Now you have to try your regular. Okay, this is the regular Whopper. Turn it this way. This is some bull. What? I ain't get no cheese. <laughs> Here, take that half and give me that half. This is some bull. Okay, I want to say Burger King. Screw that model. But I don't want the tomatoes. I don't have to have cheese on my burger. I can't taste the difference. Can you? Mm -hmm. I cannot. Can you taste the difference or is it a mind thing? Mm -mm. I cannot taste the difference. I just taste that that has cheese. That's what the difference I taste, that it has cheese. The one thing I see different in the regular waffle from mm -hmm. the impossible waffle, the regular waffle, I guess from the frame boiling, frame boiling, they, frame broiling, they, they flame it's more of a smoky. They flame boil both of I them. Know. But it's more of a smoky in the regular. You know really? I, I tasted more of the smoky in the impossible. Hmm. I know. Crazy, huh? I never got my cheese, bastards. Man, no. Let me taste the one without cheese. Let me taste the one without cheese. I can't taste the difference. Mm. I think it's impossible you ever got my G. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't taste the difference. It's slight, but you, I can taste it. Really? Well, I'm a connoisseur. I taste that it has more salt in a waffle. Probably why you like it. <laughs> I can taste that. I ain't gonna say no name. Doing my job, he wouldn't like that impossible whopper. Why? Because it ain't got no grease. He won't like it because it doesn't have grease. Mm -hmm. Is that what he said? No, all he did in the middle. Food. Up some. All they eat is grease. What you mean? Okay. You go buy fried chicken, tomato. triple meat chicken sandwiches. No, yicken sandwiches. That's what they call them at work. That's it. Um. That's it. Um. Jack in the box. I think you can get like up to up to five, like five patties on one burger. Yeah, I'm sorry. We're gonna review that. If I get a chicken sandwich with five patties on it, we're gonna call review. me fat. Don't call him fat because I'm gonna go get us one one day with every, five patties, and we're gonna review it. Well, we have to review it. That's a whole half a chicken on one sandwich. <laughs> We're going to get it and review it. 
I don't. We're not going to eat all of it. Mm. Maybe we should just get one, and then cut it in half and review it. No, we should review what. Bigger fasting. The country settler law, whatever it was. The what? The one who went out for um the beltway. The chicken fried steak on the pizza pan? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was the movie we made. We were watching. <clears throat> Let me rephrase that. Yeah, we were watching Chicken Fried Steak. Yeah. I was watching um, one of those cooking network shows one night and what is it called? Man versus Food? Mm-hmm. It's this show called Man versus Food and he was at this place in Houston and they had, I, I can't remember the name of it. I'll find out and let you guys know. It's a barbecue spot. Well, hold on. The chicken fried steak was served on a pizza pan. It was so big. So we got together with my brother, my cousin, like, hey, let's go check this place out. They're like, cool, let's go. We go check this place out. Well, before we go, I look online, find out it's a barbecue spot. The whole time, I didn't think it was a barbecue spot because when it was on TV, they didn't talk about barbecue. Mm. They just talked about this big chicken fried steak. So we get there and Jonathan and I are like, hey, let's get one chicken, big chicken fried steak meal. And then they had this plate, a four meat barbecue plate. And on the four meat barbecue plate, we got a chicken fried chicken. It wasn't as big as a chicken fried steak, but we got a chicken fried chicken. We got brisket, ribs. Was it sausage or something? I don't remember. Sausage or something. I don't know either. The barbecue sucked. Okay, I was just going to say. The chicken fried steak. Was awesome. I can see why they were on TV for the chicken fried steak. The barbecue but, sucked. Because the chi- I'm not going to say it sucked. I'm just going to say. The chicken fried steak was better than the barbecue. Wow. <laughs> Jonathan and I ate the chicken fried steak plate together. We got like the chicken fried steak and a baked potato, loaded baked potato. We ate that and got full. And we still had some left that we took home. Mm-hmm. It was really good and it was humongous. You would have to go on my Instagram Um. I think my Instagram is Deebra Lockins33, D E E B R A L O C K I N G S 33. I think all of it together. I think that's my Instagram. You would have to go on my Instagram to see the picture. It's humongous. Matter of fact, the picture doesn't do it justice because it's 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 on a pizza pan. So um, we'll go back and review it because we said we're going to go back because it was just that good. Um, But as far as this impossible waffle, um, I don't think you will be able to tell the difference unless um, you get both. You will. I don't think so. Get both. Okay, you guys get both and put it in the comments and tell us if you can taste the difference. I couldn't taste the difference. Jonathan said he could taste the difference. No, so, I'm talking about you know what I'm talking about. so you get to and you be the judge, or just get an impossible whopper and just taste that. Me personally, I will get it again. I'm going to say a message to Mr. Burger King. Matter of fact, where's your impossible whopper? You, why didn't you eat it? Because it's it's a mind thing. Because you said it was good. You said yeah, it, it was, like was a whopper, you know. So it's a mind thing for you. I'm gonna say, to Mr. Burger King, Mr. Burger King, can you stick, please, please 
Stop getting these frozen ass onion rings. This little minced onion up in it. Oh my goodness, I love you know, those. No, I love them. They have real onion rings with real onion. No. I love these because I don't like that big old onion in the middle. You know you can buy these in the grocery store. Can you? Mm-hmm. I need to start buying them. It's a little minced onion. Can you go get some real onion ring? I have somebody... It may be too much to have somebody stick them in the batter with onion and all that go and do all that. <coughs> no, I don't like okay, that. Okay, bye. I don't like that big onion in the middle. I love that. I don't like that. It's too much onion. John and I like these. These are good, Burger King. Don't listen to Jonathan. I like the minced onion. That you can't hardly see. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if it's just onion flavor in bread. No, it's onion in there, I think. Get a little onion. <laughs> well, look, see the little onions? That's onion? That looks like yeah. bread to me. Bro, you don't see that onion. I like it. <clears throat> Don't change them, Burger King, because then I'm not going to buy them. Ooh. And they're just a dollar. And that is our review <laughs> on the Impossible Whopper. That's our review. See it for yourself. Let us know what you think. Put it in the reviews below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button over here. Over here. One of them spots on the something those. like that there. Over there. And um, we're going to let y'all guys go. Thank you for tuning in. See you guys next time. Got to go brush my teeth.